Hello, beautiful, and uh, welcome to this week's love letter. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, I just wanted to just thank you so much for being on the mailing list. Um, I was just about to start typing it for this week, and then I thought, well, how about I just do a video today? So I know the energies are quite intense, and, and for myself, it's been really, really challenging to stay focused on what I'm here to do and on my purpose as I've been feeling lots of emotions coming up and uh, uh, just feels like this has been a really big time for anything that has to do with the relationships. So instead of struggling and fighting what's going on, if it's the same thing for you or something similar, I really invite you to see this as an opportunity. Um, you're not always going to feel like this it's a phase. So whatever comes up now is something that you and I need to have a closer look at. It's maybe something we've worked on before, but that we need to, where we need to release more and open up for more of what we truly want. So whatever is coming up for you in the, in, in the coming week or two, two three weeks, um, just pay attention to what it is. Uh, maybe it's like a theme of one or two things. I know for me it's been a lot um, about boundaries. Yeah, um, I wrote a post for Wellbeing Magazine uh, Australia last, like at the beginning of this week, about boundaries. And I received so much, uh, so many comments on that one and emails from people. So I'm pretty sure it resonates with you as well. So as we become more and more um, as we stand more and more in our own power, we need to have really clear boundaries. So for myself, I've been really struggling with the, so who am I if I'm not in people's stuff? And who am I if I want to be loving, but I want to really be um, sovereign and strong in who I am and what is okay for me and what isn't. And um, funnily enough, I have... Um, um, been watching a couple of documentaries that were on Swedish TV in the last couple of weeks about codependency. So in this case, it was related to people who live with someone who has uh, an addiction of some kind, uh, drugs or, or alcohol. But um, I realized that there's so much in this codependency thing that I think a lot of us can re relate to. Uh, and one of the things that happens when you, you've grown up in a codependent environment, which I think is for true for most of us, right, um, is that we have a hard time setting our own boundaries and we don't really know what's okay. And I know that's been a big thing for me. It's not that I didn't want to say no, it's like I didn't know exactly where my no started. So it's really about practicing and coming back to that and trying different things to see how that feels. Because sometimes we don't know exactly what it's going to feel like to have stronger boundaries. But I realize that now that I'm experiencing that more and more, I feel much clearer as if my energy is stronger and I don't get caught up in drama and things that involve other people around me. So it feels like I can look at the situation with much more clarity. And, and I honestly think that I can help and support other people more uh, if, I'm, uh, if I take a step back and I'm not in the situation. So it's like finding your own balance with that. And then I always love uh, adding lots of, of gentleness and lots of kindness towards ourselves uh, in particular, and lots of love. So yeah, so that's kind of my challenge for this week for you. Uh, have a look at your own boundaries. Where are they? And do you feel comfortable with them? And what can you do to change uh, if anything needs to change for you as well. And so always being um, honest and talking about how we feel and what we need, because if we, if we go back to ourselves and express our own needs instead of telling people what they should do, it probably comes off a bit better. Um, so, so that's what I wish for you for this week. And I also hope that you take really good care of yourself during this Mercury retrograde and that you... Um, give yourself extra time and space, uh, maybe to rest more than you usually do, to 
uh, go out and scream more than you normally do, to um, give yourself extra time if you need to travel or if there's something you're you're preparing for this month. So yeah, so a little bit more gentleness and kindness and compassion towards yourself and others. And then let's try to sail through this as smoothly as possible. So I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful week. And I hope that you know how loved and supported you are. You are an intuitive, powerful, amazing being. So enjoy this ride. This is your life. Thank you. Bye.